Hello everybody. So today we will be installing this Nardi Vertex steering wheel into the R32 with Hikus. And one important note, I will be removing the Hikus sensor, leveler, whatever it is called on the steering column. In order to do this, it is recommended that you also have the Hikus already removed because what will happen is that you will have that sensor missing, which is, you know, essentially tracking the movement of the steering wheel. So then you may have a Hikus system, which is going to be doing whatever it wants or rear wheels are going to send you to wherever they want to send you to. Okay. So I have already removed the Hikus system. I use the SPL titanium kit, which I will include in the link below. And anything I purchased, uh, some things through Right Hand Drive Japan, etc., some through FR Sport, I'll be providing the links. Um, just in case anyone's interested, uh, I have no affiliation, obviously, with any of these companies. It's just companies I've been using for a long time, and I just like the reliability. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your 10 millimeter nut on your negative terminal of the battery because you do not want to short any cable in the process and then you're gonna have to figure out you know what's going on why is the horn button not working why is this not working I don't want to take those chances so I'm just gonna throw it down there and that's it you no longer have power to your vehicle safety first so tools for now we're gonna start with the basics to remove the horn button you can use yourself either one of these plastic trim removal tools or a very thin flathead okay the plastic trim removal tool is a little thick, but it gets the job done. Um, I probably recommend this, but it all depends on the condition of your horn button, steering wheel, etc., and what you're willing to sacrifice. Okay, guys. And I do apologize if the lighting is not fantastic. What you're gonna do is you're gonna shove the screwdriver in there gently, and you're literally going to pop forward. Relatively quick, relatively easy. And voila, and you're going to disconnect one prong uh, connection, okay? All right, I'm going to let the camera go for a second. All right, horn button is off. As you can see, it was just a little one prong connection. And this horn button's in pretty good condition, so I, I think I'm going to hold on to it. Another thing to note, make sure your steering wheel is as straight as possible. I will be getting an alignment after this because I removed the Hikus, so I need an alignment regardless. But if you are not going to do an alignment because you don't need one, it is crucial that the steering wheel is as straight as possible because if not, you will have a crooked steering wheel with a nice alignment on your car. Just FYI. This is a 19 millimeter socket. Okay? I would probably use something like a impact driver I'm sure you can get away with a nice size wrench with some leverage but you need that torque okay so that's pretty much all you should need so let's see let's see if this will come out all right I had my Milwaukee on level three setting and we got it out relatively easily okay once you remove the nut you will see that there are three Phillips head screws if I'm not mistaken this is some sort of grounding for the horn button uh, but you need to remove it okay so let's get that done alright so this is gonna be the fun part I'm gonna try to set up the camera so you guys can see but I do know that there are extraction tools for this but you can also wiggle it off it takes a little bit of effort but yeah let's have fun this is not easy oh it was actually wasn't that bad so remember putting it in I'm just kinda making sure that the steering wheel is as straight as possible to my liking voila steering wheels off so this little cover actually comes off pretty easily so this is what I was speaking of this is apparently for the Hikus 
In order to continue running this, you need to get a special hub. I am going to be removing this because I no longer have the Hika system. So we're obviously going to have to remove this plastic. So it's just a couple of screws under, and then we'll see what we have behind here. Covers off. We have four screws that we have to remove, okay? So to finish removing the Hikus harness part of the installation, you're going to have to remove two bolts that are on the side. And that's it. This all comes off together. So one of these wires has something to do with the horn button. So I'm going to have to somehow splice it into this setup so that I can get the horn button working. Alright guys, so current horn button situation, okay? So first of all, I wanted to figure out the wiring, wiring like I told you guys. Green cable with white stripe from the Hikus plug and it's a black cable with like gray stripes. So if you, if you touch them, look. Alright, so what I did, I wired a cable to each wire and then I'm just testing it with the quick release connected. So these are the cables that are coming out of my Works Bell quick release, okay? All right, so I ran it through. So there are two wires coming out of my quick release. All right, so that does it, right? So now, like I said, I'm gonna be running these, through, these two wires through my hub, okay? Since I will not be needing the, the little backing plate that was on there, the little copper backing plate, I removed it in order to have access to this hole because that's where I will be running the wires. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to have to build up enough excess so that there's enough give so that those wires can play um, so that the, my horn will work but I can still turn my steering wheel completely. If you guys have any ideas or any other solutions to this, let me know. So, I have the wires run through. Um, I'm gonna now fasten the bolt that was actually included. So we're just gonna hit it. Alright guys, so steering wheel is installed, okay? And this is the works bell quick release. And this is the Splash Edition, um, if you guys didn't know they existed. So yeah, so now I just have to bolt the steering wheel on. Um, I just have two bolts on it, which came with the quick release, but I'm going to be using some dress-up bolts, tight black titanium uh, screws, just to make it a little bit nicer. All right, guys, so I got my light battery changed real quick. This is my Vertex Nardi Collaboration steering wheel. It is beautiful. I am in love with it. And guess what? I think you have to like press it right in the middle overall. But hey, it works beautifully. I'm super happy. I'm glad I was able to figure this out. Please, guys, if you have any questions, suggestions, um, anything, anything you want to know about the car, Hey, and we have a disco party. But if anything you want to know about the car, just please let me know. I want to learn more. I want everyone else to learn more. Um, you know, the Nissan community has always been really tight. I'm blessed to be part of it for a long time, and I just want to continue to enjoy it and learn more about my R32, which I've, you know, had for a little over a year. So still pretty fresh to me, okay? So, yeah, time to enjoy the car.